Okay, here is where you pick everybody out there and you're only allowed one vote. Okay, you get to pick the winner of uh, the uh, camel leather uh, camera bag and I will ship it to, to the winner. Um, the uh, entries start from as soon as I upload this video as far as you making a vote. The links will be below to each picture. Okay and uh, you vote for the picture that you choose and uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the finalist, the final winner, which there will be one, all of these people are winners in my view of course, um, will be made and announced at uh, right about, uh, we'll have to count the votes of course, at uh, sometime Monday, which is three days from now, right now it is uh, 1 p.m. Uh, Saturday Eastern Standard Time and so you'll have all day this Saturday all day Sunday and uh, much of the morning on Monday Eastern Standard Time uh, to vote for the winner okay now the only rule that was bent and this is inclusive because I have 10 people here and their pictures to choose from now I said that there would be three finalists. Let's admit there is no denying that there were a remarkable amount of awesome portrait shots. The top three choices are still within this ten. But I was on the phone with the other judge and we were bickering back and forth for over 40 minutes. Not literally bickering. Um, and you know, I lived in Russia for a while, and when you get back to America and you kind of see what a grocery store is like here and you have all these choices, the, I don't know of anybody on earth that complains about too many choices. People complain about not enough choices. So since you people will be the final judges, it is better for me to be inclusive rather than exclusive. And to be honest with you, there were seven pictures that we could not agree as far as, uh, you know, entry into the top three because they were just so, you know, just magnifique, just excellencia. Or as the Russians would say, achuitlnye. Um, or the looks. Nobody speaks Russian out there. Maybe there's a couple of Russian listeners. So I have ten entries, okay? And what you're going to do is uh, check the uh, links below. Um, and uh, you'll say like number picture number whatever smoking girl it'll be it'll be a picture you'll be able to click on it and then you'll see what that is we'll say picture number three smoking girl or picture number seven uh, pink nails which I've actually named these pictures because that's kind of what stands out or um, a warrior girl there's a little girl in here that's uh, that looks like a warrior so like whatever number that I assign to it below you just have one choice and one vote if you want to change it between now and Monday. So did I bend one rule in not having top three finalists? Yes, I did. But uh, they're still the top three are within this ten. So now you have ten to vote on. And let's be honest, like I said, there are just so many excellent, excellent entries. And I, I killed myself, not only myself, but, you know... I looked at every picture at least four times. I commented on every picture, and uh, I looked deeply into every picture multiple times. So did the other judge. I mean, he was complaining about, <laughs> about how many good entries there were. Anyway, anyway, let's get to the awesome stuff. Now, here's a uh, globally famous uh, shooter, and uh, anybody that would have anything to say against this picture should just be slapped. This is uh, Bill Gekas. This is, I believe, a shot of his daughter. Now, this is where high-speed sync comes into play, and he has a soft box off uh, to the left. And uh, I was talking to him, and um, he's kind of uh, internationally famous. And um, I can't speak for him, but he actually poses his daughter in these uh, various uh, scenarios that are reminiscent of Renaissance paintings and whatnot. And, uh, you know, this, this picture is just exquisite. I mean, of course it is exquisite. The numbers for these shots will be below, okay? There'll be a link to this picture, and it'll say number one or number two, whichever number I assign it, and that's, that's the way you vote for it, okay? This one. I've got it. There's a couple female shooter finalists in here, which is wonderful. Um, 
there's a whole spread of different types of pictures within the top ten. The beautiful, look at the uh, the hair lighting, the natural hair lighting, exquisite. There actually could be some fill flash on this rather than strictly ambient, but it does look uh, ambient. Um, exquisite, sublime, the composure, the face, the shadow detail, the mystery. It's 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 incredible. Um, okay. I called this picture Smoking Girl. I'm, I'm pretty sure the photographer would not name it that, but uh, the uh, the hard contrast lighting, uh, the profiling, exquisite. Absolutely exquisite. Um, here's another shot. High key, high contrast lighting, single light source, absolutely amazing. You know, divine. Uh, the the perfect uh, angle of the lighting that actually frames uh, the lip bow. Um, exquisite. Some things you don't really want to describe. I mean, when you recognize it, you recognize it. You know, it's kind of like the sun rising in the east. You don't need to point it out to anybody. You know it when you see it. Descriptions, all descriptions are eliminative of what is starkly in front of you on all of these pictures. So now we're four pictures deep into ten pictures. Warrior Girl. <laughs> this one says it all. Absolutely beautiful. Facial framing of the hair, the pose, the, uh, the, uh, the, the pouty don't mess with me face, even the shirt that says girl power. Exquisite portraiture. Timeless, beautiful, divine. Absolutely exquisite. Uh, Red Veil. Uh, I think the artist uh, named it art uh, something else. I, I was just referring to it as Red Veil to make it memorable to your mind. Uh, exquisite. The catch lighting in the eyes, the soft diffuse, low contrast, uh, far, uh, partial uh, face, uh, face coverage with uh, the Red Veil. Sublime. Exquisite. Uh, pink fingernails. Oops, I actually went back one. Sorry about that. Uh, that's the problem with Flickr. If you click slightly to the left or the right, exquisite. Look at that. Beautiful. Shadow detail, the lighting, the facial pose. Divine, simplistic. Some people think simplistic is a bad thing. Simplistic, <laughs> the ancient. <laughs> Ancient Greeks and uh, Romans thought the simplistic was divinity. It's complex stuff that we think, oh, well, it's got a thousand parts in it. It's really awesome. No, it's simplistic stuff. It's very simple. It's kind of like uh, fire, fire, water, and air. You know, the most simple things and the most beautiful things, things that keep you alive. And um, call this cop hat. He mentioned that he borrowed a hat from a, a police officer. I think this was taken on a rooftop in New York City. Uh, the silver mid-tones, the intertonal value, the lighting, the composure, the uh, the wind and the uh, the wind, uh, hair swept wind, uh, the hair across the face, absolutely exquisite. Traditional, old school, but awesomely done. Diffuse uh, portraiture, over the shoulder uh, window lighting. Up angle from the stairs, taken from downstairs of the model. Very, very traditionalist, extremely well done. It's like, well, y you, you know, the judges pick this because it's a beautiful model. There's, there are a lot of beautiful models in these entries, okay, so you can't base it upon that. Uh, that's just not the case. It's how it's composed, the lighting, it, it's, it makes it. He's uh, <laughs> the old man. <laughs> Look at that silver lighting. Ah, man, the catch light, the character, the wrinkles, the contrast, the silver. We used to call this back in the film days in photo school. We used to call this a silver print. Of course, a lot of that can be done um, in raw editing, of course, and it doesn't matter as long as the final shot, along with the composition and the lighting, are exquisite. You know, this is uh, contest is not based upon how. Uh, much something is retouched. Photography is an art form. You know, you have your paint brushes. You know, if an artist uh, didn't like something when he was painting something, he added some paintbrush. If you want to use a paintbrush tool in Photoshop to improve the character of your shot, there's nothing wrong with that. 
So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And these links for all these pictures will be below. Beautiful. Awesome. Incredible. Perfect lighting. Perfect contrast. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. Perfect lighting. This is control. I, I think a grid, a grid had to have been used with this. Either that or a slider tool. It was either a grid or a slider tool or possibly both. Warrior Girl. The Red Veil. The Pink Nails. Cop Hat. Excellencia. Atlichna, as the Russians would say. Magnifique. Tsetsekut. Yavoltsekut. So, you have 10 finalists. This is being inclusive, not exclusive. So, I said in the rules that there would be three finalists, but the three finalists are still here within those 10. You now have, uh, you should look deeply into these 10 photographs and, you know, be inspired. Why only give three? I mean, I, I full intention that we were going to provide three, but there were so many wonderful shots. So, the three are still there for you to pick. It's just that there's seven additional. I mean, they're just, they had to be included. And I don't think that bending of the rule, if anybody complains about it, then I think you're crazy. Because the three are still there. And you get more beautiful show. You look at any shot in the link below from the last video. So the winner will be announced sometime in the evening on Monday. You have all day today as soon as this video uploads. All day Saturday, all day Sunday, and half of the day on Monday. And uh, thank you for all your entries. You all were really awesome. And uh, the only thing that really depressed the hell out of me and bummed the hell out of me was the fact that there were so many awesome shots and that picking from them is kind of like, you know, it's kind of like, you know, if you had ten children or something and someone said, pick your, pick your favorite child or something, <laughs> you just don't do stuff like that. So in that sense, it's very depressing. But it's very lovely to look at all the wonderful shots, so... But uh, thank you all for all your entries, and please vote below for the winner. And the winner, you know, all the votes will be tally all the votes will be there visible for everybody. And so everybody can count them themselves if they want. But uh, you know, the uh, the contest will, uh, as far as making your vote, will end at uh, let's say two or three o'clock um, uh, Eastern Standard Time PM on Monday, so all day Saturday, all day Sunday, and much of the day on Monday. That gives you plenty of time to vote on the winner, please. Please vote. Please take a look at these pictures. Please, please be inspired. And thank you for inspiring me, and thank you for entering the contest. And, uh, and uh, the last winners of the uh, Flash Triggers, they contacted me yesterday. They both got their prizes from, uh, from uh, the Postal Service. And... Uh, and uh, so they've got their uh, flash cue triggers, the true two winners there. And I can't wait to send off, I've got it over here, the uh, leather, uh, camel leather bag uh, for the winner. Thank you for watching. Bye.